the top heavyweight stand-up fighters in the world. Vicious and deadly inside the ring, yet calm, composed, and humble outside of it. Gokan Saki is Turkey's shining light in the world of combat sports. After a glittering career in kickboxing with 83 wins and 59 knockouts, Saki was simply too big a star for the UFC to ignore. That's a warrior right there, ladies and gentlemen. Known as the Turkish Tyson for obvious reasons, the former World Dutch and European Mai Tai champion has signed a multi-fight deal with one of the sport's biggest organizations. And now, he's getting ready to make his first appearance against Brazil's Henrique da Silva on Saturday. Usually, the prospect of switching sports on the biggest stage of them all would frighten most athletes, but Saki doesn't seem to be phased. Healthy nerves, you know, good nerves. Uh, I think like this, if you are a sportman on this level, with the kickboxing, I, uh, I win from the biggest, I lose from the biggest, I fight, I train hard, and I was like, uh, I, I, be, I, was, I was one of the top fighters the last seven, eight years when I was fighting. So for me, if you, if you are a sportman in the sport you're doing in that level, I believe you can do every sport, then you will learn fast. And I'm training now uh, MMA for three months. And uh, I think uh, if they're going to see me fighting, they see somebody who's training for 10 years. And what about your opponent? He's a fighter. Uh, he has his fighting uh, rhythm. He fights the last year, I think, uh, the last two years, six, seven fights. I don't fight for two years, so he has his fight rhythm and uh, he's an MMA fighter. The fights what I see, I'm, now, I'm not under impressed, so that doesn't mean I'm not training hard. I'm training hard for every fight and uh, he's an okay fighter for me to start, you know. Surround yourself with winners and you'll become one. Clearly a motto taken on board with Team Saki. At his training camp in Istanbul, it's very clear that the rebel has the best people on board. Ali Fardi is Saki's manager, an Iranian refugee who moved to Holland in search of a better future. Now he has two master's degrees, an acting career, and one of the most promising fighters in the world on his books. But there is a downside to spending most of your time with an ultra-competitive athlete. He's really humble in everything. And he jokes a lot. Sometimes it drives you crazy, you know? One, one thing also for him, he doesn't like to lose. Like if you play these FIFA games or uh, PlayStation, Xbox, he beat me like I think 20 times. And then I only win two times or one time. And then I go to sleep, it was uh, like one o'clock. Then I go to sleep and then I feel like my bed shaking. So he's kicking my uh, bed and I, uh, What's up? He said, yeah, where are you sleeping? I said, yeah, of course I was sleeping. What's happened? He's with the joy. He said, yeah, come play one more time. I'm looking at the time, it's three o'clock. So he's practicing two hours again just to beat me one time. And he already went 20 times of me. Gokan Saki is arguably one of the fastest kickboxing heavyweights there has ever been. But in the UFC, rules allow fighters to take their opponents to the ground. For a stand-up fighter like Saki, this could be seen as a weakness. But at training, it became very clear that it will be no easy task taking this man to the ground. Top Turkish wrestlers have been brought in to try and take Saki down to the floor. But as you can see, even the best in the game found it hard. Do you think the other guys will be looking at you thinking, right, we know what he can do standing up. We need to take him to the floor. I'm 100% sure they cannot sleep. If they're here, they need to fight me. Because this stand up, what I have, nobody have this, this experience, what I have. In fighting, nobody in UFC have this. I have over 100 fights and I have 70, 80 amateur fights and 100 professional fights. So the experience I have, they don't have this and they know this. So I'm sure they're going to 
shoot directly from the beginning and try to wrestle with me. But I'm originally Turkish and, you know, Turkish people are very good in wrestling. So it's in my blood already. I'm ready to wrestle with everybody also. Um, when he came first time, I thought he was going to be like other strikers. Uh, so when strikers start grappling, it's very hard for them because it's different strength and it's different balance. Um, but like he said before, I think because he has the Turkish blood, uh, he's wrestling very good and he's learning very fast. I'm not saying this because he's my friend, but every single day, like when he sees a new move or new, new thing, he does it right away, the next day, you know? So he's going very, very fast. Like with him, 15, uh, 30 days, two months, is worth for a six months, one year of camp, I think, because he's going very, very fast, you know? With the big fight just days away, the training in the kitchen is as important as the practice in the octagon, something that hasn't always been Saki's strong point. He, he looked like a meatball. He was a very fat guy. I couldn't believe that he was a, a top fighter. So we had to start at the bottom and uh, we have to build him up like a real athlete with a lot of functional mass, so more muscle and less of fat. The last big, big tournament in uh, Istanbul, he was uh, fighting uh, against uh, um, Tyrone Spong and Nathan Corbett and he had to, to make the 95 kilogram, so we had to lose a lot of weight. Everything was uh, following the plan. It was uh, going all right. Then we visited the match, Khaled Sarai Fenerbahce, and he sneaked out to the buffet, and he ate his uh, stomach full, and the next day he was three, four kilos up, and we had only five days to go, so we have to start all over again. But that's the guy he is. It's, it's just like a game, you know? The train is on the one side. He wants the discipline the whole time, and the fight to try to escape. So that's, that's a funny uh, game you have to play with him. The UFC has fastly grown into one of the most followed competitions in the world. Recently, its major star, Conor McGregor, made the switch to boxing to challenge Floyd Mayweather. This is a fight that's been in my... Gorkan Saki, like McGregor, doesn't just plan on winning fights. The Turkish champion wants to knock out those who stand in his way en route to becoming the star of the heavyweight division. Like I say, I fight everybody. For me, these guys, I don't care. I even, you know, I fight uh, heavyweights, 140 kilos, and uh, this is the first time, uh, the second time in my life I'm gonna fight on the same weight in the, in the professional career. So 93 kilos, and you see, the division is okay. In my opinion, the way how I see it for the future also. See, in kickboxing, I fight everybody. I win from everybody, and I also lose from big names, but I prove myself, you know? There was nothing to win anymore for me. Only one fight that was against Rico, but he don't accept the challenge. And these two years I stopped fighting, in these two years I also don't see I had challenge anymore, you know? And this step is a big step for me, I'm hungry like I was 15, 16 years uh, old. With potentially the biggest fight of his career to date just around the corner, the softly spoken punching machine is as determined as ever. Saki's fists are loaded with bad intentions. His blows are so fast you've been hit before you even see them coming. The rebel is as ready as he'll ever be. On Saturday night, this Turkish UFC fighter will begin his quest to put Turkey at the very top of the fighting world. And Da Silva is the first man standing in his way.